Okay, so we've talked about that hydrolysis is when we have a hidden acid or base somewhere in a salt. And we've looked at how to dissociate, identify salts and dissociate them. Um, so when we place that salt in water and it dissociates, the ions that we just found, the, the products of that dissociations that, that you just practiced, that's where the hidden um, acid or base might be. Um, so we look at those ions that we just found from the from the salt breaking up in the water, which it's going to do anyways, and we have to figure out, okay, are either of these ions acidic or basic? And if not, the solution is going to be neutral. Um, so I'm going to walk you through an example. Let's just say I said for NH, let's use NH4Cl again. I could ask you, when, when placed in water, um, will the solution be acidic, basic, or neutral? So first thing, I identify that this is a salt. Cool, we have a salt. Then I'm going to dissociate that salt. Salts use single arrows so that I can see what ions I have to work with. Of those ions, we have to see they're not floating around in water. We have to see if either the NH4 or the Cl are going to stick to, are going to react with that water because um, that's what could release some hydrogen or hydroxide that would make the solution acidic or basic. So um, this is my way of going about it. If you find a different way you like better, totally fine, but I think this at least explains what's going on. I'm going to take both of these ions, NH4 and Cl, and separately I'm going to pretend to react them with water so that I can see what might happen. When I react them with water, though, I'm going to purposefully use HOH. The reason I do that um, is that water, when it's separated into ions, we get H plus and OH minus. And so what I have to consider is, okay, when NH4 has the opportunity to react with water, it's a positive ion, so which part of the water would it react with? The positive hydrogen or the negative hydroxide? Positive ions are going to react with negative ions. Negative ions are going to react with positive ions. So um, these are going to be equilibrium arrows because one of these might be a weak acid or a weak base, the NH4 plus or the Cl minus, right, that we just found hiding in that salt. And weak things use equilibrium arrows. Okay, so positive ion would react with the negative part of water. NH4 is going to react with the OH minus. So if the NH4 comes and reacts with the OH minus, that leaves H plus left over. The negative ion is going to react with the positive part of water. So H with Cl gets me HCl, leaving OH minus left over. And you'll see this pattern, you'll always have the positive ion leaving H plus left over and the negative ion leaving OH minus left over. Um, but this is just hypothetical. This is us testing what could happen. Um, not both of these reactions won't happen. Either one will or neither will. And here's what I mean by happen. Um, if you look at all of our products, one should jump out at you and that one should be HCl. By now you should have enough exposure to see, oh, I see HCl. That's a strong acid. And something important that we know, the most important thing we know about strongs, like strong acids or strong bases, is that they dissociate completely. If they dissociate completely, that means they totally break apart. If they break apart, that means they're not going to ever want to stick together. And if HCl won't stick together, this reaction won't happen. Our XN for reaction won't happen. So if ever when you look at one of these test reactions, you see something strong, whether it's an acid or a base, that reaction is not going to happen because if it even ever did, as soon as that HCl stuck together, it would break right apart as if it never happened. So if anything strong is produced, that reaction won't happen. Um, looking at the other reaction, NH4OH, 
not the color I wanted. NH4OH, that's not something strong. We have all of the strong acids and bases memorized or written on a list in our notes. Since that is not strong, it must be weak, it must, how, what's the wording I used? Some of it will stick together. Not all of it, but some will stick together. And if even some of it sticks together, that means this reaction can happen. We don't know how much, we don't know if a little bit or a lot of it sticks together, but some of it does. And if this reaction happens, what is released? H plus. If H plus is released, this salt, when it dissociates, must form an acidic solution. So if the reaction that happens releases H plus, it's an acidic solution. If the reaction that happens is OH minus, it's basic. Um, you'll never have both of them working, not a thing. If they both don't happen, it must just be a neutral solution. No reaction happened that released H or OH. Um, so those are your options. Um, identify it's a salt, break it apart, take those ions and see how they might react with water. So we're testing them against water. Um, and then whichever one happens, whichever one doesn't produce a strong is the one that's going to happen. And that can tell us if it's acidic, basic, or if neither happen, neutral. Try those.